Hi, I'm Emery Alderham. I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester. It is Monday the 3rd of August and this is your Fusion News update. Today's stories include 1. ETA kicks off assembly 2. General Fusion brings in more large global investors 3. While birds chirp, plasmas should not 4. Nuclear blasts send star hurtling across the galaxy And I've got a little bonus for you two at the end 1. On Tuesday the 28th of July President Macron of France oversaw a celebratory event signalling the start of the construction at ETA. Joined by the leaders from all of the ETA partners, the event was live streamed with a tour of the site and a statement from all groups. You can watch the video on the ETA website, we'll put a link to that in the description below. The ETA Director General Bernard Bijo said, Enabling the exclusive use of clean energy will be a miracle for our planet. But he went on to highlight the incredible challenge the construction will be. Constructing the machine piece by piece will be like assembling a three-dimensional puzzle on an intricate timeline and with the precision of a Swiss watch. With first plasmas expected at the end of 2025, ETA will not only be the largest fusion device in existence, but it will be the testing ground for technologies essential for the realisation of fusion energy. This was also welcomed by the private community with the Tokamak Energy Vice Chairman saying to The Guardian, we welcome the progress at ETA, which we see as a great scientific project and a major endorsement of Tokamak devices. The ETA device is one of the most ambitious energy projects out there and it really shows what collaboration across nations can truly achieve. Our second story today, General Fusion brings in more large global investors. In a press release on the 22nd of July, General Fusion, a Canadian-based private fusion venture, close additional support for their demonstration fusion plant. Such financing comes as the company accelerates their efforts for power plant scale validation over the next five years. The backing comes from Singaporean sovereign wealth fund, GIC, and deep tech fund, IBX, to add to a large financing base held already. CEO Christopher Murray said, we view these new financial partners together with our new deep tech venture partner, IBX, as further evidence of the growing embrace of fusion as the essential foundation of a practical low carbon future of energy. General Fusion looks to achieve fusion energy using innovative magnetic target fusion. They have a really great video of their technology at work on their YouTube channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Our third story today. While birds chirp, plasmas should not. Researchers at Princeton Plasma Physics Lab have gained new insight into the oddly named chirping problem. Chirping causes vital heat to be lost from the plasma, reducing the efficiency of tokamak fusion devices. Sudden frequency changes in the plasma waves interacting with highly energetic particles allow these particles to escape their confinement, resulting in large amounts of heat loss from the plasma core. Princeton plasma physicist Venetius Duarte said, if those particles drift to the edge of the plasma, you can't sustain the steady state burning plasma needed to make fusion powered electricity a reality. It's hoped that understanding these problems can silence these chirps and keep the plasma burning for longer. 4. Nuclear blasts send star hurtling across the galaxy. Astronomers have observed a partial supernova leading to a star flying across the galaxy at 900,000 kilometers an hour, and it's all a bit of a puzzle. Lead author Professor Boris Gansik was quoted as saying, it has a chemical composition which is the fingerprint of nuclear burning, a low mass and a very high velocity. All of these facts imply that it must have come from some kind of close binary system and it must have undergone thermonuclear ignition. It would have been a type of supernova, but of a kind that we have not seen before. He then goes on to give a nice shout out for fusion here on Earth by saying, the process developing during a thermonuclear supernova is very similar to what we tried to achieve on Earth in our future power plants nuclear fusion of lighter elements into heavier ones, which releases vast amounts of energy. Now for the first bonus. And this one is a Power Insights video from Power Magazine. They interview Richard Buttery, the Director of Experimental Science at the D3D Tokamak facility in San Diego, who gives details from what fusion is right up to the specifics of their experiment. A link to the video is in the description. The second one of our bonuses today is an extension of our previously mentioned Asia Times series. This is on Dense Plasma Focus, and the second and the third part have just been released. Featuring fusion company LPP Fusion, links to all three articles will be down below. That's everything for today. Links to everything discussed is in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future episode. Please remember to like and subscribe.